everybody. Welcome to the 22nd episode of YLC Chats. Today we have another special guest, Jenna Lewis from Quinton, Connecticut. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Ryan, do you want to ask the first couple of questions? My first question is, how did you become involved in Best Buddies and how long have you been in- involved? I got involved back in 2015. Um, I was working as a self-advocate coordinator at the time. Best Buddies Connecticut had emailed me and asked me to help promote the citizens program that Best Buddies had been, I guess, working on at the time. And I was very excited to hear about a program that would match individuals with disabilities with individuals without. And it's pretty awesome that a person without disabilities can be friends with someone that has disabilities and that they can go out and do fun things for inclusion. I mean, how great is that? And of course I wanted to get involved. My next question is what best buddies program or programs are you in? I am a advanced ambassador and I am part of the citizens program. What is your favorite thing about Best Buddies? It's hard to pick one of my favorite things about Best Buddies because I have a lot. Um, A big one is that I am accepted as a person and not as my disability. I also, it gives me a chance to be a voice and a role model for others. I loved going out to Indiana for leadership conferences and being able to be connected with the advanced uh, ambassador trainings and with others, uh, with other individuals with disabilities. They come from all over the state and all over the United States, all over the world. And I made new friends. I saw old ones. The activities were fun. And the performers and the um, speakers, especially the um, ambassador speakers were very inspiring. But, you know, I love everything about Best Buddies, so I just love Best Buddies altogether. How do you feel that Best Buddies has made you a better advocate for yourself and others? I gave ambassador speeches at my Best Buddies walks in Connecticut. I also went to other activities around the state and have helped me spread the word about this amazing organization and how it is important to not only me, but to everyone. And it brings a lot of people with all abilities together and make friendships. And that's what Best Buddies is all about. Inclusion, friendships, all that just comes together as one. And I am a better speaker and have a voice of inclusion. I have learned much more about speech writing at my ambassador trainings uh, in Connecticut and in Indiana. This has made me a better advocate, not only for myself, but for others. What does being an advocate mean to you? Being an advocate means that you use your voice and determined to reach your goals. Everyone can use their voices and determination to have friendships, jobs, independence, live on their own, and just do whatever their dreams are and make their dreams a reality. Absolutely. So fun fact for all of our YLC chatters. Uh, Jenna uh, lives in Connecticut as well as I do. And um, Jenna has been a huge support system and me conquering my um, public speaking um, 
goals, my dreams. Um, and so I'm really fortunate for Jenna um, to be my friend. Um, but I'm also grateful to Jenna because of the things that she advocates for. So Jenna, that follows up with my next question. Um, what are you an advocate for? I was a self-advocate coordinator for the state of Connecticut Department of Developmental Services for 12 years. And I advocated for people with disabilities in all areas of employment, healthy relationships, the rights of inclusion. I was able to train individuals so that they knew what advocacy is about and the importance of having a struggle of support. I feel very powerful to have the opportunity to use my voice to help make changes that have positive outcomes for individuals with disabilities. And I also use my voice with best buddies. I'm an advocate with best buddies. So um, I'm an advocate everywhere. Um, so Jenna, what inspires you to advocate for those causes? My inspiration was formed by my own life experiences. I wanted a life like my peers of all abilities when I was growing up. I wanted to be accepted. So I advocated for my own inclusion. I was always so grateful when I can help others use their voices for inclusion. What are some changes you would like to see in our country in regards to the areas that you advocate for? I would like to see individuals of all all abilities use their voices strongly and proudly for changes they want in their lives. People should be seen for who they are and what their abilities are, not their disabilities. I would like to see full inclusion in all areas of life for those with disabilities. So Jenna, my last question for you tonight is what can people watching this video do to help support what you talked about today? They can get connected with their buddies, uh, spread the word about best buddies and why it is important to them, to their families, to their friends, to their coworkers and others that are important in their life. You can share what it means to you. We are, in, we are leaders, each and every one of us. And we can be an example to others and show them how to be leaders. We must lead the way to one-to-one -to -one, one -to -one friendships. We must advocate for integrated employment, inclusive living for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Please get out there and inspire others to help get someone involved with Best Buddies today. You, if you don't belong to Best Buddies, it's okay. Please join. You will be so happy when you do. Yeah, definitely. Those are... Those are all really important points. I think I love what you brought up because there really is something in Best Buddies for everybody. There are so many different programs and pillars for people to get involved with from when you're in elementary school to when you're an adult. So that's right. really cool. Um, and thank you for coming and sharing all of this with us today. We loved hearing everything you had to say. This has been the 22nd episode of YLC Chats. We've done quite a few of these now. Um, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more episodes coming soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.